Hello, Gamer Gnome is back. And in this video, we are going to help this noob with the Shadow Fruit, Awaken, Goal Race, and Become Pro. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel, and this will really help us improve our videos. Where the actors slam. Oh, there it is. Passing forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, so first things first, let's eat the Shadow Fruit. And next up, how do we unlock the goal race? So first, we need to reach level 1000. Because there is a quest in order to unlock the goal race, not like the other races. So let's head back to the first sea and grind levels. Guys, check this out. Please don't do this. Never exploit in this game because what's the point of playing, right? If you're just gonna cheat. Okay, so head to the Fountain City and we're gonna defeat Gali Pirates. Guys, at first we're gonna defeat one. Oh, what? What's happened? What? What? Guys, check this out. Report, bully. <laughs> anyway, cheater. Okay, let's not mind him. Let's focus on defeating Gali Pirates. So first, just use your combo. Okay, left clicks, left clicks. You can use your somber rebellion from time to time, but make sure to blast hit your enemy using your shadow fruit skills. Okay, why? Because we want to unlock the skill F skill, the umbrage. There you go, so once you unlock this skill, check this out, everything will be easier. You can use it to lure four at a time and defeat four enemies at a time. Take note, if you get hit, your umbrage will be cancelled. See that guys? So make sure to keep on moving to dodge their attacks. Okay, we will also unlock our X skill, the Shade Nest. I think this skill can only damage two mobs, which is not really good. <laughs> There you go. So guys, I'm just showing it to you. I'm not gonna use this one much. Especially when we're grinding four enemies at a time. Okay? So again, keep grinding here until 775. There you go. After that, head back to the second C. Okay, guys. So, what is our target here? Next up, the Swan Pirates. So again, same strategy. We are going to use the Ombrage to defeat them. Take note again how I move to dodge their long range attacks there you go also we will unlock our third skill the nightmare leech so this one has life steal is also single target which is good for boss fights check your hp again your damage right there you go it will regenerate every time you hit your enemies using this skill so guys at level 850 you can start doing the bartilio quest but we still don't have the goal race so let's head so the cursed ship, this is, this is the area where you can unlock the race, but you can only enter this area at level 1000, so we're gonna grind until this level. But you can still proceed on doing the Bartillo quest, right? This is a requirement to get V2 race. Okay, so first you need to defeat 50 swan pirates, which is really easy. We've been defeating these mobs since level 775. After this, the next quest is defeat Jeremy. One of the bosses in this island, check this out. Why is he smiling? We're about to off him. There you go. Okay. So after this, we can now do the Coliseum quest. This is a continuation of Bartilio quest. So for the code, that's Y, X, C, S, and M. Next is F, N, and B. Okay. You will get a warrior helmet. And after this, back to grinding. So guys, go back to Swan Pirates until you reach level 925. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's check our stats. I'm gonna show it to you. Here it is. Melee 400, Defense 600, Blood Fruits 1,775. Next up, guys, the Green Zone. Okay, target here is Fajita. Guys, we're gonna ser server hop here, okay? So I'm just gonna show it to you. There you go. Oh, anyway, I think we're gonna unlock here the final skill, the V skill, the Corvus Torment. Okay, this one's really good. I'm telling you guys, boss fights, grinding, etc. There you go, guys. Check the damage, DPS, and that's it. Again, we're gonna reach level 1000 here, and finally, we can start the goal race quest. So, guys, head to the cursed ship and start defeating ship deckhands. So there you go, very easy, use your V skill and F skill for multi-target damage. Guys, check that out. This skill is really good. Plus the Ombrage and that's it. You will get, there's a chance that you can get Ectoplasm. 
and you need 100 of this item. Next up, there's a boss here. Once this appears in your screen, a cursed captain will appear. At level 1325, there you go, you can defeat him and get the Hell Torch. So guys, I got carried here. There you go, Hellfire Torch, sorry. You need to head to the NPC, there you go. It's Perimic. Give him 100 Ectoplasm and your Hellfire Torch. And that's it guys, congratulations to us. We unlocked the Gold Race. So let's remove this accessory to show you the horns. Okay, there you go guys, Gold Race. Next up, let's head to the Green Zone. Look for Alchemist, okay? So guys, he will ask you to look for three flowers. This is the quest to V2 continuation of Bartillo quest. So blue flower can be found only at night time. So here it is, the blue flower, again night time. Next up, the yellow flower, there you go, can be found by beating mobs. Again, you can found this by defeating mobs and the best area is the swan pirates. There you go. Next up, the red flower. You can find this only at daytime. There you go. I found this one at near uh, Alchemist. Green zone, okay? So after that, talk to him. You need to pay him 500,000 bellies. And for the upgrade, your melee attacks will have life steal. okay? So this one is really good for Buddha Fruit users. Next up, our V3 gold quest. So how do you activate it? Guys, first you need to defeat Swan, okay? He's located here in the mansion. And to beat Swan, you need a Blox Fruit that costs more than 1 million or 1 million belly. So you need to talk to Trevor. He will ask you for a fruit. There you go. In order to join their, uh, what do you call this? Their syndicate. <laughs> okay, after that, you can now have access to Swan. And let's fast forward this one. Oh, damage is really high, but... Shadow Fruit's damage is a lot higher. Check that out, guys. Okay. So after this, let's head to Arrow. The NPC is located here. There you go. Where Diamond Boss is located. And there is a secret entrance. Talk to him. His request, defeat five players. So guys, you can just log in an alt account. And you can beat the same player for five times. Okay. So this is the proof. This is the first time, there you go, the second time, the third time, the fourth time, and the fifth time that I defeated the same player, talk to Arrow and he will then upgrade your race, okay, 2 million bellies, you will get the high 10 senses, this one's really good, increases your damage, decreases your cooldown, increase some defense, that's it. Next goal, level 1500. For V4 Awakening. So now we'll head to the snow mountains and defeat snow troopers. Guys, I'm gonna make this fast, okay? We're gonna grind here until we reach level 1150. Don't worry, guys. Grinding is easy as long as you've unlocked your V skill plus the Umbrage. Okay, next up. Oops. I say, I think you can defeat this one. I'm kinda confident. There you go. Let's try defeating this one, Umbrage. And once they stock up, we're gonna use our Corvus Torment. There you go. Okay, check it out. First two boats almost down. One, two, one. Okay, 100 fragments. And for the last one, I think uh, we need more skills. <laughs> the mother boat ship. Okay, almost done. Anyways, guys, after this, we're gonna head to Hot and Cold and defeat. Smoke Admiral, okay? In my previous video, I made a mistake of calling this one Vice Admiral. There you go. Guys, we're gonna server hop here, okay? Because this is the easiest uh, boss to defeat here in this sea. There you go. Okay, so again, server hop until you reach level 1250. Okay, that's our target level here. After that, we are going back to the Cursed Ship. So in the cursed ship, we're gonna defeat the ship deckhands again. Ship deckhands only. Again, my reasoning. This is the fastest mob to grind here. I'm telling you guys. Don't even try defeating other mobs. So at level 1350, we are now heading to the ice castle to defeat Arctic Warriors. Guys, we're gonna do this until level 1400. Don't worry, even though they have long range attacks, again. Just keep on moving using your Umbrage to dodge their attacks. 
So at 1,400, we're gonna defeat Awakened Ice Admiral until reach level 1,500, okay? We are going to skip the final island, the Forgotten Island. Why? Because I forgot about it. Guys, just joking. The mobs there are kinda hard to dodge because of their skills. So we're just gonna grind here again until level 1,500, okay? And if just in case you get the library key, you can use this to unlock the death step. There you go, just use the key to open the door, but there are other requirements. Anyway, let's focus on grinding. 1,500. Next up, talk to Rick King Redhead in the Coliseum. Fight Indra. Damage him until 50% HP. There you go. After that, watch some stuff. <laughs> Head to the green zone after. Talk to Mr. Captain and welcome to the third sea. Now guys, time to awaken our race. So first target is to again beat Indra, okay? So head to this castle on the sea. Guys, you need God's Chalice and three legendary hockeys. So I use my main account to find all those things. And got carried again in the Battle of Gods. So just use your Corvus Torment and Umbrage. There you go. Let them do the rest. <laughs> there you go. Okay, just keep on using your V-Skill every time it cooldowns for damage, okay? Okay, so let's say we've defeated this one. There you go. Okay, let's try the Valkyrie Helm. Anyway, next up, head to the Chocolate Land. Beat mobs here in order for you to get the Conjured Coco. But guys, if uh, this one's really hard, just ask your friends to do it for you. Guys, you need 10 Conjured Cocos. And also, you need another God's Chalice. And together with the Conjured Coco, you can change it to Sweet crafter for candy chalice guys again i use my main account here this one's really hard if you're gonna use uh, the gold race account there you go after that defeat 500 mobs in the cake land and make sure to use the one with the candy chalice to open the dimension okay so guys again tip here just use your v skill every time it is on cooldown and avoid getting hit <laughs> but it's okay to die you can just go back again and if your damage is enough, you will get near Fractal. Oh guys, we got the Spiky Trident. I think this is one's not easy to get. First try, <laughs> we got the Spiky Trident. And most important, the Mirror Fractal, okay? After this, Mirage Island on a full moon. Head to the peak and use your Ray skill. Guys, take note that if you're a Shadow Fruit user, make sure to aim and look at the moon properly. Guys, this is the hardest quest. So every time I try to do or make a noob to pro video with awakening race this one's the hardest and the longest one to do so there you go after that it took me 1 minute 30 seconds to find the gear there it is okay so next stop you can now head to the great tree yes go on the very peak of the tree and you will find the entrance to the temple of time after this you can now pull the lever let's locate the lever here it is okay next up guys we need to wait for the full moon there you go and you need the help of other two players okay with different races and again remember at full moon use your race skills in front of the trial doors of your very own trial doors okay so there you go after that if you do it correctly the trial will start so for us a trial of carnage we need to defeat mobs mobs only some players say this is the easiest trial of them all. So guys, if you agree, just comment it on the comment section. Okay, so after this, this one's the saddest part. So let's say every one of you finishes their own trials. Guys, you need to fight each other and only one player can awaken their race. So guys, don't worry, those are my alternate accounts or alt accounts. There you go. Now head to the ancient clock and now you can transform or awaken your race v4 so we have other gears and i'm gonna talk about that later but first check this out once the red bar under your energy is full you can now transform just push the y button and that's it okay so now i'm gonna use my main account to showcase all the gears the passive skills of an awakened race gold v4 okay so first the red gear Guys, this will give you life steal on any attack, okay? Not just fight style, but sword, blast fruits, etc. Okay, so I'm gonna show it to you. As you can see, we have damage, right? And I am going to use our uh, magma fruit to damage the enemy. 
I want you to focus on the HP, okay? So as you can see, we're almost dead. Okay, so we're gonna lure the enemies first. There you go. Okay, so for the life steal, I'm gonna use a uh, magma Z skill. Here it is. Okay, so that's it. Basically, that's the red gear for uh, what I call this the gold V4 awakening. So how about the blue gear? Upgraded uh, domain expansion tier two will uh, make your crows attack your enemy every time you use your dash. Okay, so we're gonna use it. Okay, so we're just gonna use our dash to damage the enemies. Check that out guys, just Q. And check the damage. Okay, so not that high, but no need to aim, right? Anyway, I have a full video of this. I also tried this one on other players, just in case you want to use it for PvP. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out. Next up guys, Cyborg V4 and Mink V4. Okay, bye-bye.